the dire wolf, a formidable predator of the late Pleistocene epoch, roamed the diverse landscapes of North and South America. Larger and more powerful than modern wolves, it thrived in a world teeming with megafauna, engaging in fierce battles for survival. This book uncovers the true tale of the dire wolf, from its discovery and the fascinating details of its anatomy to its complex social structures and interactions with other predators. We'll explore the climatic changes that led to its extinction and the ongoing research that continues to reveal new insights. Join us as we delve into the history and legacy of the dire wolf, an icon of prehistoric life. In the year 1854, amidst the vast open plains of Nebraska, a monumental discovery was made by paleontologist Joseph Leidy. Amidst the dusty excavations, Leidy unearthed a set of massive, robust bones that hinted at a creature unlike any other previously known. This remarkable find marked the beginning of the journey to uncover the story of the dire wolf, scientifically named Carnus dirus. As more fossils emerged from various sites across North America, it became evident that these bones belonged to no ordinary wolf. These remains told the story of a predator significantly larger and more powerful than the modern grey wolf. Leidy's discovery of the large canine skull and jawbones was the first official record of the dire wolf, a name that would soon resonate through the annals of paleontological research. The initial studies conducted on these fossils revealed a creature of formidable build. With its large, strong jaws and thick, robust bones, the dire wolf was clearly an apex predator of its time. These early studies began to paint a picture of a dominant carnivore that roamed North America during the late Pleistocene epoch, capturing the interest and imagination of scientists and the public alike. The dire wolf thrived during the Pleistocene epoch, a period marked by dramatic climatic changes and diverse ecosystems. This epoch, spanning from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago, saw multiple ice ages that shaped the land and the lives of the creatures that inhabited it. The dire wolf's ability to adapt to these changing environments was a key factor in its success as a predator. Dire wolves roamed across a variety of landscapes, from the dense forests and expansive plains of North America to the savannas and deserts of South America. Their adaptability allowed them to inhabit a wide range of environments, from cold, icy tundras to warm, arid regions. This adaptability was crucial for their survival, as it enabled them to exploit different ecological niches and prey species. As apex predators, dire wolves hunted large herbivores such as bison, horses and even mammoths. They competed with other formidable predators, including saber-toothed cats and American lions. The competition for food was intense, driving the evolution of the dire wolf's powerful physique and pack hunting strategies. This competitive environment shaped the behavior and adaptations of the dire wolf, making it one of the most successful predators of its time. The dire wolf was built for hunting, with an anatomy that reveals a creature designed for power and endurance. Standing at about 2.6 feet at the shoulder and weighing up to 150 pounds, the dire wolf was larger and more muscular than the modern grey wolf. Its physical characteristics made it a formidable predator, capable of taking down large prey. One of the most striking features of the dire wolf was its powerful jaws. These jaws could exert a significant bite force, allowing the dire wolf to crush bones and tear through tough hide. The robust limbs of the dire wolf were well suited for long chases and tackling prey, enabling it to run down and overpower even the most formidable herbivores. The teeth of the dire wolf were uniquely adapted for its carnivorous diet. With larger, more powerful molars and carnassials, it could efficiently process large amounts of meat and bone. These dental adaptations were essential for its survival, allowing it to make the most of its kills and providing the necessary nutrients for its powerful body. Like modern wolves, dire wolves lived and hunted in packs. These social structures were complex, involving cooperation, communication and hierarchy. 
the pack was the fundamental unit of dire wolf society, and within these packs, individuals worked together to hunt, raise young, and defend territory. The social dynamics of dire wolves were governed by a strict hierarchy, with dominant individuals leading the pack. These hierarchies were established through displays of dominance and submission, ensuring cohesion and order within the group. The pack structure provided numerous benefits, including increased hunting success and protection from other predators. Communication within the pack was vital for maintaining social bonds and coordinating activities. Dire wolves used vocalizations, body language, and scent marking to convey information and maintain relationships. These forms of communication were crucial for coordinating hunts and ensuring the pack's survival in a competitive environment. The dire wolf's hunting strategies were sophisticated and effective, allowing them to take down some of the largest prey in their environment. They often targeted young, old or weak individuals within herds of large herbivores. By isolating these vulnerable members, they could bring them down with less risk and effort, ensuring the pack's survival. Once the prey was isolated, the pack worked together to bring it down. Their powerful jaws and coordinated attacks allowed them to inflict fatal wounds quickly. After the kill, the entire pack would feast, ensuring that all members were well fed. This cooperative hunting strategy was a key factor in the dire wolf's success as a predator. The diet of the dire wolf was varied, depending on the availability of prey in their environment. They hunted large herbivores like bison, horses and mammoths, but they were also opportunistic scavengers, feeding on carrion when the opportunity arose. This adaptability in their diet was crucial for their survival in the ever-changing Pleistocene landscapes. The Pleistocene epoch was a time of intense competition among predators. Dire wolves had to contend with other formidable carnivores for food and territory. These interactions with other predators played a significant role in shaping the behaviour and adaptations of the dire wolf. Encounters with sabre-toothed cats, American lions and short-faced bears could be deadly, but they also shaped the evolution and behaviour of the dire wolf. Packs had to be strategic, sometimes opting to scavenge rather than risk a dangerous confrontation. These strategies allowed them to coexist with other predators while maintaining their position as apex hunters. To survive in such a competitive environment, dire wolves developed strategies for avoiding conflict and maximising their hunting success. They might hunt at different times or focus on different prey than their rivals. These strategies allowed them to coexist with other predators while maintaining their position as apex hunters. Around 10,000 years ago, the dire wolf faced extinction. The reasons for their disappearance are complex and multifaceted, involving a combination of climatic changes and human influence. The end of the last ice age brought significant climatic changes, altering the habitats and food sources that dire wolves depended on. As temperatures rose and ice sheets melted, the large herbivores that were their primary prey began to decline. This decline in prey availability put significant pressure on dire wolf populations. The arrival of humans in the Americas also played a role in the dire wolf's extinction. Human hunting and competition for resources likely put additional pressure on dire wolf populations. The combination of environmental changes and human impact proved too much for the dire wolf to withstand, leading to their eventual extinction. Though the dire wolf is extinct, its legacy endures. Fossil evidence and modern research continue to shed light on this remarkable predator. The study of dire wolves has contributed significantly to our understanding of Pleistocene ecosystems and predator-prey dynamics. Ongoing research into their anatomy, behaviour and extinction helps scientists piece together the complex history of life on Earth. The dire wolf has also captured the public's imagination, featuring in literature, movies and even as the symbol of the House Stark in the popular series Game of Thrones. This cultural fascination ensures that the memory of the dire wolf lives on, inspiring new generations to explore the mysteries of the past.
The true tale of the dire wolf is a story of power, survival, and adaptation. As we continue to uncover more about this incredible predator, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of ancient ecosystems and the forces that shape life on our planet. The dire wolf, though long gone, remains a symbol of the untamed and relentless nature of the wild, a testament to the enduring legacy of one of the most formidable predators to ever walk the earth.